Hey everybody, I'm making supper this morning. It'll be ready tonight. This is one of my favorite recipes. Slow cooker chicken and tomato orzo. And I'm doing it in my deluxe multi cooker. I'm gonna use a crock pot setting. It calls for one pound of boneless steamed chicken breasts, which I put in there. It calls for two tablespoons of garlic salt. I don't have any, so instead I use pampered chef's garlic and herb. And the cap is one tablespoon. So you take the cap off and fill it, that's one tablespoon. I've also added a tablespoon of black pepper. And let's see what's next. Next, I'm adding two cups of chicken broth. Chicken broth makes everything yummy. I have the cover on now, and I'm going to turn the dial to the slow cooker setting. I'm going to push the button. It already says six hours, and that's what I want on low. I push it again, and one more time. That third time, you hold it in a little bit, and then when you see that little circle that says cook, you know you're good. And I'll be back later on to finish the recipe. So the crock pot is almost done, and I need two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm gonna use the garlic prep tool. Put the little cup in. Cup one. These are big cloves of garlic, so it's a little. This one. Oh, yeah. really nice. And now I need a package of grape tomatoes sliced in half. This is my all time favorite close and cut. I've got all my tomatoes on there. Both sides are, have springs. So when you close it and you put your knife where the knife goes, it's directly in the center. Close it. I've got my coated knife. Fingers are nowhere near the knife, so it's very safe, and it gives you perfectly sliced tomatoes. So the chicken is done. It looks yummy. It needs to be shredded. So I'm going to take my salad chopper. This is really good for shredding chicken. So I preheated this brilliant skillet. Brilliant's cookware is amazing. And I'm cooking up the garlic that I minced earlier and the tomatoes. This is how the chicken looks when I've done chopping it up with the salad chopper. It does a really nice job. So I've added the orzo. You cook eight ounces of orzo which is a pasta, it looks like, kind of like rice. Mixing that up now. So there we have it, the finished meal. And I put some in the bowl, and I topped it with some Parmesan cheese that I just grated fresh the other day. It looks great. One last thing that I like to do is, there's a lot of juice in the crock pot with the spices from cooking the chicken, and I like to take a spoon and just spoon some into my bowl. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do.